I always have a chat with him at the start of the first half as well. But um, I s introduce myself. Hi, my name's George. I find out his name if I don't know it already. And then I just say, uh, talk to me on the throw-ins. Because I think it's stupid if you get pulled up for a foul throw. Mm. And if you're not in the right... So that's why I go like that. If people were not, not doing like a steps routine or, or something like that. Um, from back in the day. So, yeah, and just have a bit of a chat with him. Mm. A lot of people born in 1984 in this... I didn't notice that, but yeah. Um, which manager I learned the most from? I, I can't really say because... I've learned a lot from every manager gives you something new. Mm. I mean, when I first moved to Wolves, it was Mick McCarthy there and I was a young lad. So I learned a lot from him, you know. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sure these questions can't. <laughs> um, so, uh, but in terms of Borough, uh, I've, I've learned something different from all, all the managers. And that's the, the good thing about uh, managers when they come in, everyone's got something else to offer. and I. You know, some managers that I've played more from others, I've learnt from every single one of them, whether I've played lots of them or not. Mm. Um, Molly Gibson on Twitter asks, if you weren't a footballer, what would you be doing instead? Um, probably some kind of business back in Devon with my brother. Uh, he's into like construction and agriculture stuff, so maybe something along those lines or maybe something in, in sport still but um, I always wanted to be a professional at, at some sport it wasn't necessarily always football when I was younger so mm. I might have been in another sport if I was lucky enough to do that I'm not sure I'd like to stay in football I think having spent a lot of my life in it and working in football in some capacity whether that's in the coaching side or more upstairs with the scouting recruitment I'm really interested in that as well so we'll have to see well, normally I would say scrambled egg, but recently I've been reverting back to that old, slightly controversial classic of eggy bread. Right, okay, fair play. <laughs> Just because both my daughters absolutely love it. So, um, yeah, there you have it. Probably um, Russell Crowe from A Beautiful Mind, because he, he wrote... He, I wrote on the windows yeah. and it That's looked really it. good. <laughs> when you put, when you have a scone or a scone, scone or scone, let's start with that. Well, it's from Devon, so okay. this is quite a this is quite a yeah. good topic for me. It's it's a scone. Okay. Um, cream before the jam or jam before the cream? Well, again, it's like it's a dish of my home county, so uh, you always put the cream first and the jam on top. Just, okay. just to clear it up for forever. Seems like you're giving that as a definitive answer there. No, it is, yeah, and it's definitely. Okay. It's like me saying, what you know, with a palmo, what comes first? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I wouldn't ever question it. Fair <laughs> dudes. Come in and get the kit off the kit lady and kit guys, mm. and then have breakfast, then go down, have a check with the physios, check everything's working still. Mm. And then uh, go into the gym, do work in the gym, then do a warm up with the team, then train, back in for lunch, then gym again in the afternoon. And some days the manager gets us out in the afternoon as well. Mm. When and where is it? Well, he hasn't said. I can find out for you if you want. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Thank right. you. As long as it's not. Is it, is it tails? Is it a suit tails? Is it, does it say? Because <laughs> I was, I'll have to He's get there. He's given very few details, to be fair, <laughs> if he was taking it seriously. Well, let, now let's put it down as a yes and then see if anything comes of it. Yeah, not. I mean, you might, do you want a plus one as well? Maybe. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Sam Myers on Instagram says, Are you going to score another worldie for us this year? I already have, haven't I? <laughs> no, um, yeah, don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. It's it's working hard's the the major requirement, and then there's a bit of luck involved. But uh, working hard and always believing you can do it. That's what I'd say. Who was your footballing idol growing up? Uh, David Ginola. I've just got a signed shirt from him that I'm really pleased with. It's going to take pride of place somewhere. But not sure where which, yet. Uh, but which club? Or is it when he was at Spurs, ah. the old um, Holston. Holston. Yeah, that one signed on the back. Really pleased with it. Um, why are your goal celebrations so random? Haha. 
I thought it was going to be so bad. <laughs> um, because when you don't score that many, you've got to really make the most of it. And I think as well, it's more fun if you do something that can relate with someone. So that hence, you know, the the one last season with um, Howard, the chef and stuff, I think it just makes it more fun. It's a lot of plugging for stuff up there, isn't there? Like, do I get any, uh, do I get anything back of it if I say? <laughs> Yeah, um, hopefully. Do you know what I've gone a blank? What it's called? My wife buys it for me. I can't even remember what it's called, but it's it's really nice and uh, feels lovely. So um, uh, Emma Boyer, <laughs> Emma Boyer says, which player have you most enjoyed playing alongside and why? Uh, I think it's quite a timely one with Gibbo's exit. So I, obviously I've played a lot of games with Ben. Probably I haven't seen the stats, but it's probably the person I played the most with my time at Borough. So I'll say say. Uh, Gibbo for that because he's always right next to me and that what well, I used to be on that back four yeah. Um, yeah so I'll say him there's lots of nice little moments amazing moments but uh, it, one definitive moment will be the, the Brighton match when we got promoted mm. that was a very special time and very special season and to finish in that manner as well was, was great but I am hoping there are more to come as well um, how did you feel about the media lads saying uh, that it wasn't you scored. <laughs> is that actually? On the yeah, it's that. Well, we've had we've we've had words, and like I said earlier, when you don't score many, to then not get credited for it is uh, not ideal. But we all make mistakes, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, we all learn from our mistakes. So now I have to I have to say, you know, it's fair fair dues. It was quite a confusing melee at the time, and because I couldn't get up after I had scored it made it a lot harder so now of course i forgive the media guys that's that's not a problem you.